I started blogging in 2003 before YouTube even existed. It is with heart wide open that I share with you my journey that has taken me from South Korea to now living off grid in the middle of nowhere. These videos are definitely not for YouTube. They would never let me put a video with some Led Zeppelin in the background. It's heavy that nail framing gun, but it's so fun to have it because it makes things go fast. With like. The effort is in lifting the thing. So I'm uh, starting from here. And it goes all the way to the west gate. I made it to the north gate. So the northeast is fenced. Ah, it's, a, it's a long fence. <laughs> And uh, so I just got this northwest area. I, I think I'm gonna do it now. 6.30, maybe another half hour. Oh, it looks like a ranch now. We have a fence. <laughs> we have a fence. Oh. All right, it's Sunday morning. We uh, booked a kennel for the dogs, so October 6 and 7 we'll be in Vancouver. And it'll be like a year and a half since I haven't been to Vancouver. So we just planted the, the apple tree that we got yesterday and the... Oh, you didn't need me to dig holes for the grapes? Oh crap, I forgot. I forgot the grapes. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, we still have the grapes to do, but we did the the crab apple pollinator. Maybe we had the wrong crab apple, you know, we we had the crab apple flower. That's why we didn't get apples. Who knows? Maybe the trees are just too young. Anyway, so I'm going to uh, level this and mill because it's raining today. So I'm just going to take a look at what's really left to do. I've got enough for 316. So let's say from here to here is one. Quite a bit of that material here. So doing from there to here, we're really easy. So it's just from here to there, to where the fence ends. And that fence is complete and usable by tomorrow. It's compacting, that's for sure. All right. And it hasn't moved. Oh, it was hard to come back out. <laughs> I think Divine's gonna have a nap uh, after she vacuums. So I'm just gonna, I have to at least mill one lug. And then we'll see about the second one. Yes, what is it? Huh? Okay. You want to be free a little bit? And I just finished the upgrade where uh, Raven was jumping so because it was really low there's no electric fence there yet hopefully we do that today
All right, so I'm at the south gate. I'm gonna finish the linkage today. So I'm just like over there. And then uh, I'll start with this section. I've got some spares in the trailer in case I'm short. All right, it's 12.30. So I'm starting from over there where the framing gun is. And I've got to make it to where I finished last night. But moving the the fence, that will be a, a pain. But it's a pain I must go through. <laughs> Southwest section is done at four high. I have to do all the other sections, but it's no problem right now for Willow. Miley, let me help you. It's not there. You missed it! It's gone! Plug the fence. Okay, Mighty, it's not here. I don't know if you see, but that's not good. I'm gonna keep walking. There's gotta be stuff touching. So here, I need to make this higher. I'll do that tomorrow. And so far, the wires are fine. I think it's back there, the problem. I haven't fixed that yet. Tomorrow, <laughs> it's on the list. Anyway, I can finish tomorrow. Sorry, Willow. I thought I would finish it tonight. Partridge is right at the door. Hey! No! No! Partridges are not leaving. Da da da! Hey! You cannot go there. No! 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 <laughs> the partridge is not like almost just there still. Oh, now I'm on my way to uh, open the gate because uh, his cows were here last Thursday afternoon when it was raining at like 2.40 something in the afternoon. I found out yesterday when he was leaving, I noticed the poo on the driveway and the tracks and he had told me when he had gotten here that he knew they had been here because the grass has been eaten. And uh, you know, I I didn't know this. And I didn't know to look for that. But I guess it has been eaten. Sit around here. Oh, oh, that's what it is. The grass here, there's no, it should be long like the rest, but no, it's been eaten. I had noticed that the grass was shorter here than it should. <laughs> but I, and then, yeah, there, you have the poo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'll open this up. Maybe I thought it was the the deer all right and then we uh, finalized the greenhouse I'll show you later and dug the holes so that's what holes dug with a huge excavator look like it's not pretty so I'm gonna <laughs> get to it so happily because, you know, I know 
I'm gonna f how I'm gonna feel after doing this, you know, physically. So, uh, but uh, fuck, I have no other way. This is easier. It's even though it's a lot of work, it's easier than me trying to dig the one hole. Now I'm just gonna double check my uh, diagonals. Oh, it's going so good. So I've got six posts up. The other sevens are back there. I'll do them tomorrow. All right, they're all plumbed. So now I just need to put some concrete at the base. I have a lot of, uh, I had 11 or 13, yeah, 11 bags of concrete, but they're really old and they've gotten too wet. So it's not really making concrete, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to do everything I wanted to do. Six posts are in concrete. Hey, <laughs> the GoPro 12 has been released. <laughs> Our next GoPro is going to be the GoPro 17. Right, Vido? Okay. We're going to do something about that. We have to look at that. It's not leaving. All right. I finally put some bag bomb on his uh, skin and his crotch. And uh, he didn't seem to mind. So maybe later on I can do that again. Yeah, it's good. I know they cannot escape. They can only escape at the gates. So now I can see two gates easy. If I'm there, I can see three, maybe even four. So anyway, now I've got these guys burnt. That gives you an idea of how big it's going to be. It's big enough for the truck to go in. So I like it. All right, so it begins the last phase in closing up the root cellar is making the first door so i'm gonna first do the piece that's gonna lock the frame together the door it's not opening yet though i have to go get uh, the sawzall and a battery need to turn the yeah, pull hard. It's hard to open. Okay, go in. Okay, I'm gonna close. Yeah, but it's good. Like, so if you look here, you see there's still space between this log and most of them. Oh. So that means they haven't sagged. They haven't, like, Falling down. Tomorrow, I'm gonna. Before I go with Dave, I should have time to do that ledge here with the two by four there. I'm gonna split it in half, and then I'll have enough to do this. All right, Saturday, concrete day. So first, I've got a plumb my posts i buried backfilled the front i've got two and three to backfill i might do that later today so that i can do my laser today well willow hasn't escaped yet <laughs> that's good i i hope with all that work I just had a little break that felt good I feel ready to do something so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to the green and I 
I'm going to uh, shovel the doorway first. I just finished the shoveling. <laughs> it I almost backfilled the whole thing here. There was a lot. Anyway, now that's done. So I was thinking these guys I can have from under there which gives me the space to put the plywood is this hot oh yeah it's hot it's hot yeah but not here it starts being you yeah it each one is warmer Oh yeah. Oh, but this one, this one is the warmest. Oh no, this one is really, oh yeah, the bottom one. So it, the trends continue. It gets really warm as it goes to the bottom. It's storing the heat for sure. Yeah, it'll be really interesting to see how it performs. All right, Willow looks so comfy <laughs> in the shade. So my uh, ledge looks good. Hi, are you happy? You guys happy? Yes? All right, I'm gonna go on the quad now. Uh, the concrete is dry enough. I'm gonna start uh, backfilling some holes, maybe these two for now. Let's see. I'm already sore from doing it so much today, but might as well. Okay, that's it for today. It's quarter after six. Yeah, so the extra dirt, I'm gonna have to move it tomorrow with those rocks. And then I'll be ready for next week leveling and plumbing everything all right oh, it's monday i took care of uh, the electric fans it's so fucked up i don't know you know I, so i changed the energizer i don't know if it that energizer doesn't have an indicator so i don't know and I didn't want to touch it. So then I, uh, so humid today. That's why I'm almost naked. <laughs> it's like really humid. So all the, the minute I start doing some work, I uh, sweat like a pig. All right. So I've uh, put my line. That's the line is where the gravel ends. Three and a half inch over that is uh, the the concrete and then the building starts all right it's almost three oh, fuck. I like the digging is fucking hard so I, I'm gonna after lunch I'm gonna put a 16 foot feet whatever across here that ties all of that together and all the bottoms are good here I'm half an inch short of 16 on this here it's not the end of the world all right this is the end of the day it's 6 30 so the bottom board for the concrete level is done uh, for the gravel is done then this is the concrete board so from the two by six or from the red line up that's concrete but this is the problem or the challenge so when i measured my thing i measured it as if my plywood was on the board so i needed to actually move my posts 
an inch and a half that way and an inch and a half that way so i will definitely do that on the next building but now because i didn't do that i have to figure out how to take care of that corner because the other plywood would be here so that area will be open i'm sure i can find somebody with experience that can tell me how to handle that all right i went to town this morning and got the it's like i got a mix of road mulch and gravel it'll be better it'll give me a better finish uh, to work on this winter so my first step is to back up those area from the inside all around which will uh, cost me less in material and then start filling up fuck there's a lot that fits in here yeah that stuff is really heavy each yard is 3,000 pound so this is a yard and a half I tempered it with a manual tamper so it's not quite to uh, the level where I want it might need another yard first time hunting And the big rifle. Divine is with me. She's back there. She's getting some rolls. Uh, hip. No, this is rotten. It's rotten. It's no good. She's trying to be not as loud. Yet alive or dead, standing, or, but not rotten. Wednesday the 13th. Come with me, Willow. Come on. You need to go poop. We put <laughs> we put the cone on Willow because uh, he's got. We think it's hot spots in his crutch. Come on. You need to go do your poo. But he hasn't gone. For <laughs> come on. Come on. Yeah. Go do your things. Over here, Raven. Oops, sorry, Raven. There's still quite a bit of water in there. It's definitely not gonna dry up this year. <laughs> he didn't poo. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Anyway, now. I'm gonna start this. So my first step is to do and then I will do it. My first step is that. And then if uh, I have energy at, towards the end of the day, I'll come and add some uh, dirt from over there <laughs> to over here. Tabarnak. So this is good, really good. Now I'm gonna go do the back one. I think I'm gonna have to take the scaffold apart for that. I can't remember if I filmed the last uh, after the installation of the last beam. All right. So that's good. Tomorrow, this, and I'm gonna set it up so that my middle here they just butt. So that'll be faster and easier and just as good. Oh, <laughs> I was almost, I almost fell asleep uh, after eating. <sighs> but it's a good way to beat the heat to uh, come in for lunch when at the peak of the heat. Now I'm gonna go. Uh, work on the 
the second the inner door of the root cellar okay i got my styrofoam in the door now i just need to put the plywood on top so i'm gonna put the piece of plywood first and then draw my shape <laughs> 